few months later, I bought a ring. So, did you enjoy your pesto with pesto? Does this smile give you your answer? Lois, there's something I want to ask you. Will you marry me? Oh, Peter, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I'm already engaged to Tom Tucker. Passed over for Tom Tucker? That's terrible. What do you think of that, fellow 90s star Joey Lawrence? Meh. Oh. Okay, well, what would you think if I told you that Blossom would completely drop out of show business to get a Ph.D. in neuroscience and then come back and make $15 million a year while you would work steadily for 20 years, lose all your hair, and go bankrupt? Whoa! There it is! Yeah, that's the, that's the thing I wanted. Where's Dad? You've got male porn! Peter, get in here and finish the story. Sorry, I was just watching some guy take it in the AOL. Goodbye. All right, where were we? Mom just said she got engaged to Tom Tucker? Well, deep down, I knew I loved your father, but I guess I just caved to my father's pressure. And on my 28th birthday, he introduced me to my future husband. Thanks, Ollie. Good afternoon, Lois. I'm Tom Tucker, your king-to-be. In other news, President Clinton sent me a congratulatory cigar, but it's a little moist. Well, I wasn't going to give up that easily. So I decided I was going to do the most powerful thing you could do in the 90s. Make a mixtape. Again, Peter, it's your mixtape, but you've got Cotton Eye Joe as song number two, number four, seven, and eight. Hey, you think it should be number three as well? No! I made it number three as well. Oh, Peter, I gotta say, the fourth and fifth time I heard Cotton Eye Joe, it really got to me. I was so happy. I knew Peter was the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. But I dreaded having to tell my father. Luckily, he was remarkably understanding about it. I've decided to be remarkably understanding about this. Really? Yes, and to prove it, I'm going to pay for Peter's bachelor party at the MTV Beach House.